This morning in Health Watch, hurricane safety, how to prepare for a storm and keep your family safe. Let's go back to Dave in Naples. Dave, everybody needs to have a supply kit on the ready. What should be in it? Well, you know what, Harry? Also important to note that it's not just for hurricanes. It's for whatever you may run across. And I'm going to take you through some stuff right now that we actually carry on the road. This is our car, and every time we go to an event like this, we bring this stuff. If you take a look at what I have here packed in the back, and again, we bought it for our own consumption this time. We have a generator. We always carry extra gasoline when we know there's going to be potentially a problem getting it. We always carry at least a gallon of water per person, and a lot of times even more than that. Food, as far as that goes, non-perishable items, peanut butter for protein, things you can just pop in or eat cold, canned items, and a can opener, I might add. Now, to the important safety items, we move over always have a flashlight and a flashlight operated by batteries. Batteries are the way to go in a storm, Harry, because you may not be able to plug anything in. A weather radio is always key so you can listen to updates. And of course, a toolkit, a small toolkit to be able to help you through some tight binds should you need it. And finally, Harry, every time we go, we buy a brand new first aid kit and make sure it's current. Yeah, the thing you don't want to do, of course, is, is be standing in line at Walmart or at Home Depot 10 minutes before the storm hits. This is something you should have on hand all the time. Now, let's talk a little bit about storm surge because we've had a couple of years here where we haven't had been busy with hurricanes. If a surge comes and if the surge is heading your way, what do you need to be aware of? Well, all right, let's put up a graphic and let me show you exactly what happens. Whether it's a surge or high winds, you want to stay away from windows or glass. You want to secure the interior and exterior doors of your house. Make sure they are tight. Make sure you have an exit strategy, but make sure they are secured. Keep curtains and blinds closed because with high winds or water that's rushing through, it can shatter that glass. Mm. And if something is imminent, Lie on the floor and secure yourself. There you go. Dave, good advice. Thanks so much. We'll check in with you in just a little bit. For a okay, bounty Harry. of pointers to help you prepare for storms, log on to our website at earlyshow.cbsnews.com.